The new Florabella Classic Workflow Action Set for Photoshop and Photoshop Elements includes a wonderful ColourPop action called Color Lush. So here we have an image. I'm going to go to the set and highlight Color Lush and press play. This is a great base ColourPop action. Uh, you don't have to use it for ColourPop. Without the brush on ColourPop, you can use it on any image. Um, now, as you can see, we started with a really dark underexposed image. So first thing I'll have to do is lighten up the exposure quite a bit. I bring it up to about there for now. And uh, you can also make all your other basic adjustments, your contrast to soft pop. You can lighten your midtones. Uh, you can even out your highlights, lighten your shadows. But here I'm going to come down to the color pop layer. And I'm going to make sure that I have my paintbrush selected and that I'm on white because we're going to be revealing by painting over the black on this mask. Make sure that your mask is selected. The action should do it for you, just in case. Now when I paint on ColourPop, I like to do it at 100% opacity so I can see where I'm painting and I can reduce the opacity later. later. So I'm going to go ahead and just start brushing. I'm basically going to brush everywhere that does not affect her skin. So basically just the whole thing. Just real quick paint over it. If I want to see where I've painted, I can click the backslash key on my keyboard and I can see where I've painted. I'm going to reduce the size of my brush and keep painting around. Make sure I get her dress and the little horn that she's holding. Um, and just get rid of the red when I go back, I just click the back, backslash again. There we go. Now there's without your color pop and with your color pop. Now this action is special because it includes a rich in your color pop layer. So um, I can richen the color and really give it some depth to the color. That's a little too bright for me. I'm going to darken it up. It doesn't affect her skin, remember, because we didn't paint on her skin. Her skin looks good as is. And I'm going to keep it at about there. But I noticed that her pants got a little neon. So did the horn right here, maybe the yellow trim on her dress here. It's a little too bright. So I'll come back down to my mask. And I'm going to paint that back with black. I can click the X on my keyboard or the little arrow right here. And I'm going to lower my opacity because I don't want to completely remove the color pop. Just soften it up a bit. I'm just going to paint over that until it softens that up so it's not so neon. Let's see. The pants are just a little too pink. Get rid of that color pop there. Okay, that looks better. So the other thing I can do is I can warm this up. Looks like it needs a little warmth. I can use the warm up layer. Or Color Lush also includes a layer called Adjust Your Sunshine because I love the sunshine tones on this layer. I'm going to add, there's it with nothing. You can see it really warms, warms it up and softens it up a bit. I'm just going to lighten a little bit more, perhaps. Mm, right about there looks good. Now, here we have before and after, and without the color pop and with the color pop. And I can always go in and adjust the color pop too. Here it is with no color pop. I can ease my way up and just add color until it looks about right. And I kind of like it around 90. I really like the bright color on this image. Okay. The other thing I might do is I might just go ahead and right click and flatten. And I might go down and just run Clarity Defog. Just kind of adds some dimension, defogs it, sharpens it a little bit. You can see it's a little better with the Clarity Defog. And I'll decrease that just a tiny bit. Okay. Um, only other thing is there's this little red or pink paint here. If I want to remove something like that on an image, I just go over here to my Patch Tool. And I click on the Patch Tool. And I'm just going to circle it. And then you click and drag and you hold it down. 
you bring it to a place that doesn't have the mark that you want, might take a couple times, and there you go, it's pretty much gone. Sometimes the patch tool is finicky, so you have to use the, uh, the clone tool. And here we go, I'm just gonna sample by holding down Alt and clicking, okay? And then I'm gonna paint right over that. And that gets rid of that little distraction. So again, we have before and after Florabella Color Lush. It's included in the Classic Work Flow set. You can achieve clean or artistic edits with this set. It's a great, versatile, large set. Florabellacollection.com. Thanks.